Hi you guys and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now I'm just unboxing the Melanin Hair Care line and it came just in time because I just washed and conditioned my hair. I'm starting off with overnight deep conditioned hair. She has this cute little note for us and let's just get started. So I'm just showing you how it looks, the consistency. You'll see later. It smells like shea butter. The packaging looks very generous, and it is, especially the 16 ounce twist butter. And she has her initials there. A ton of ingredients. Some of the key ingredients are shea butter and lots of oils like avocado oil, almond oil, castor seed oil. Um, there's aloe vera in here, there's mango butter, there is glycerin, there's um, indica seed butter, just a lot of great stuff. Vitamin E, argan oil, olive oil, and just a lot of great oils. And after, but before I even add the melanin, I'm, I'm putting this leave in spray and she did say that this cream, it does have moisturizing properties, but it is not a leave-in. So she does suggest to use a leave-in. I'm just using this light leave-in because I don't really like to layer products. I just think it gets too gunky on my hair. But whatever product I do use, I use a lot of it. Here I'm just reading the oils of this melanin oil, pure oil blend. The main ingredients are bo boabab oil, argan oil, and vitamin E. It says that it's used to detangle, soften, and seal. I used it to, my, to add to my scalp because I love putting nutrients into my scalp. We used to grease our scalp but now we know it's better to oil your scalp because it actually has it's actually light enough to penetrate your strands and your follicles the smell is amazing and i normally i, I don't know what's going on because i normally don't care for the smell of products but this oil just smells so luxurious and it smells like something's in it that's going to stimulate growth because it smells kind of minty but there is avocado oil in this sweet almond oil is the first ingredient in this and um, it has sage oil and yeah the vitamin E, the bohab oil, and the argan oil. Here you can probably see that I put a little bit too much oil because my hands are all oily, but because the oils are so lightweight, it didn't really bother me as much. Here it looks like the product is just... Um... I mean, it's, it's very white, but it doesn't dry like that, so it doesn't really bother me.
So now I'm going to give you my thoughts on the, mel the melanin hair care line. First off, I love that th the first ingredient is water and the second ingredient is shea butter because my hair loves shea butter. But I find when I used to use shea butter, I just used to use it for my twist outs and braid outs. But since I don't really do those as much anymore, I mostly do wash and goes. It was kind of hard to incorporate the shea butter in my wash and go routine because it would leave me with like a chunk of the shea butter or something in it or like a streak of the shea butter. But I love that this with this, I'm able to incorporate lots and lots of shea butter in my wash and go routine without having like any residue or anything like that. I, I, I would imagine that this product would work best with a twist out, but it does say that you can um, use it for wash and goes too. And my thoughts on it is, first of all, the best thing about this is that it stretches my hair and it leaves me with volume. Okay, this is a great styler for wash and go because of the stretch that I'm getting from this. When I use other products, my first day hair is never this voluminous and never as stretched as this. Yes, it can be stretched a little bit more, but that's what day two and three and day four is. But I'm very, um, I'm very, um, content with this first day hair for me this is like this volume and the stretch is more like second or third day hair but because I'm I used this it dried while I went to work and so it's all dry now and I can when I feel my hair I can feel that I'm getting the hold that I need so I feel like it has enough hold to last me but then also the, the shea butter, or which is the main ingredient in this, is really stretching out my curls. Like, yeah, I just love the way it's stretching out my curls. That's the best thing I can really say about this. Another thing is the all of the different oils in it. Like, I can just read this and think about how much good it's doing for my hair, just being on my hair right now. Because it has sweet almond oil, avocado oil, and everything like I mentioned in the video and um, another thing about this is oh the smell it's it's really not 
scented at all, which I love because mostly because I can't think of any other product that is not scented. And while you can still smell something from this, you have to really dig your nose in it to, to see what it smells like. And honestly, it smells like black girl magic. Like it smells like cocoa butter and coconut oil, just natural ingredients, which I like. And I'm like just jumping back and forth, but bear with me. Another thing that I like about this product is that I don't have to feel any kind of way about my hair being on my face. I usually hate when my hair touches my face even a little bit, but because this has no toxic ingredients at all, like not just no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral, mineral oil, no whatever, and phylates and formal, whatever. Not just because of that, but she made sure that everything in here is non-toxic, so I don't feel like, I just feel like a weight is off my shoulder, and I, that's like one less thing that I have to worry about in terms of health, because, you know, there are a lot of um, unhealthy ingredients that's on the market right now, so I like that she brought that to the table, and the packaging is really cute as well. I like that it has the melanin on the top, not just here. I love that it's see-through, so I can just, like, it's just pure product, and the consistency, it's like, it's like, okay, so she did say that this is not a leave-in. This is only supposed to be a styler, but because water is the first ingredient in this, I just use this as a one and done wash and go just one product oh well I did have the spray but other than that um, what I'm trying to say is even though that this is a styler it does have moisturizing qualities which I do really enjoy and I know my hair really enjoys and I'm just excited to see how much more stretch and volume I'm gonna get from this especially because the first day was a good hair day for me so that is it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you got something from this video and I'll see you guys next time.